Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common, or what fellowship can light have with darkness? Verse 15. What harmony is there between Christ and Belial? That's the devil. And what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? Believers, or how so this is a young believer in the first three to five years of your Christian life. How are you relating to non-believers? That's the issue. Okay? How do you relate to non-believers? Because you came to Christ from a life where you didn't believe, yeah? All of your friends were non-believers, or the majority of them were. We've got to hang around with them, we've got to be with them, we've got to work with them, but there's tension between believers and non-believers based on the Word of God, right? In the house sometimes. Now I came up, I, I So I'm well aware of the tensions that can exist between believers and non-believers when they're either married or in the same family between siblings where one is and one isn't where you have a believers and non-believers amongst relatives or friends let alone the workplace, yeah? How do non-believers affect you, non-believers, as much as it's possible, from affecting you in such a way that they can drag you away from Christ and back into the things of the world because you haven't yet learned to be strong enough in your convictions to stand for them, yeah? Don't expect everybody you knew before you became a Christian to want to go with you on your journey. They won't. Some associations and some friendships have to go. Some of the places you used to go to, you have to learn to stop going to them. Some of the things that you used to do with your spare time, some of those things you can no longer do. Because it takes you into a place or into an environment or with people who are going to affect you in such a way or influence you in such a way that you will end up being dragged back into the world or relearn the values of the world which are the very things you're trying to get out of. You understand what I'm talking about? And you're going to have to learn where those boundaries are for you in your life. Because you can't get rid of every relationship, can you? You can't get rid of your relationship. You can't get rid of your family members. They're going to be there and you love them anyway, don't you? Yeah? But you're going to learn to put boundaries down in places so that the kingdom of God itself can prosper in your life and you can continue to grow in your spiritual life. Can I hear an amen? Amen.